Hello everyone, no typical intro here, this is going to be more of a serious topic, a little bit of a rant if you will, because it involves a YouTuber that I used to idolize and take a lot of inspiration from. And the YouTuber of course I'm talking about is Mama Max. I used to watch Mama Max all the way back to IMVU, and I especially loved his pick a side campaign because even though it was a double edged sword due to how Max operated in that controversy, it did get across a very important message. I showed my inspiration from Mama Max as well when I got myself into some pretty dire situations. I've made videos on pedophiles myself, a couple of child predators included, and I also defended myself from another pedophile that tried to slander me and accuse me of grooming. If you watch any of those videos, you can probably see how much inspiration I took from Mama Max, because I loved his content and I think what he did was a very noble and very important cause. However, I cannot say the same thing with his newest series of videos. While I do think that it's still important to expose child predators and pedophiles alike, how you operate on exposing them is the most important part. When I made videos on child predators, I made 100% sure that the audience in question can take a look at my videos, actually see and process the evidence in question, and easily come to the conclusion that yes, this guy is a pedophile and needs to be stopped. And as a big fan of Mama Max, I thought he would understand this, but he doesn't really show that he does. Max has made an entire campaign dedicated to saving survivors against a supposed cult leader named Camden Gerard Davis. And he has solely gathered several of these survivors to speak up and expose this single individual. But even with all of these survivors gathered to go against this one guy, there is not a lick of proper evidence that is concrete enough to label this guy as a predator, at least none that we know of. When Max has been confronted about the evidence in question, he insists that the evidence would be kept on hold for a future documentary. But said documentary has also been delayed because more and more survivors keep speaking out. Not only does he keep his evidence against this alleged child predator on hold, but he also showed the evidence to people like Mudahar. And Mudahar himself came out and said that none of the evidence is concrete. You're telling me that Max has started this entire campaign to expose this one individual, including creating a temporary rebrand to God Cult to quote, brainwash your favorite influencers, yet all of this awareness being spread has become futile because you don't have the concrete evidence to properly expose him as a predator? Max, I thought you were better than this yet you have been actively showing that you don't know what you're doing. Your actions in order to expose this predator have only hurt your case rather than help the survivors in question. From attempting to put Moist Critical in a bad light for not responding to your messages, to downplaying the Sniper Wolf situation, to doxing the relatives of Camden Gerard Davis, all of this, yet you don't even have the proper evidence to take this guy down? You say that you're doing all this because your platform is for the survivors, but you haven't done anything to give the survivors any resolution. I want these survivors to live happy lives, and I want them to succeed, but nothing of what you've done so far has helped them in any way of putting away this supposed predator. <sighs> okay, let's break this down a little on why I think Max has a noble cause, but how he operates is very stupid. First of all, that video he made on Moist, the one where you try to call him out for staying silent in regards to this Camden guy, it just rubbed me the wrong way. It felt hostile. It felt like you were desperate for attention, and not in a good way. See, when I reached out to people like Griffin Gaming and Ween when I myself was being slandered as a groomer, I wasn't desperate for their attention, I was straightforward with them with what exactly I wanted them to do and made sure that they were okay with speaking out. I didn't just spam their fucking DMs to force them to speaking out about something serious because at the end of the day, it should be up to them if they want to talk about it to begin with. It's not that they don't think it's important to spread awareness about child abuse or human trafficking, it's the fact that they are not obligated or required to do something for you, even if it's on something as serious as a child predator investigation. And based on how you operate in people's DMs, I doubt they would want to work with you in the first place to expose this person. I know the feeling of getting some clout, my guy. I do. But clout should be the least of your concerns when it comes to exposing a piece of shit human being. Even when I made a video on Sean the Legend, even when I reached out to bigger YouTubers like Griffin Gaming and Ween, I don't immediately expect them to help me 
out. All I care about is that they acknowledge it. They don't have to help me if they don't want to, but it was their own decision to help me out in my video. You don't exactly look particularly sane when you spam somebody's DMs begging for help for this particular situation. And you just add insult to injury by making a video trying even harder to catch Moist Critical's attention under the guise of an exposed video? This is the exact opposite of how you should operate when you want to spread awareness on a predator. And under this same video, you straight up downplayed the situation that involves Jax Films and Sniper Wolf. You in the video claim that our priorities are skewed as well as Charlie's because they don't acknowledge the growing problem of child trafficking, but the drama itself involves a man's privacy getting violated because they dared to criticize somebody. People didn't cover Sniper Wolf just because it's easy views, they covered Sniper Wolf because she did something horrible. She docked someone's house to millions of people and proceeded to violate their privacy and invaded their home live to millions of people. Do you know all of the bad things that could have happened because Sniper Wolf decided to do this to somebody? It's no wonder Jax Films didn't feel safe anymore after those events. I wouldn't either. His home address was doxxed to millions live. We are talking about someone's privacy being violated. Somebody that doesn't feel safe anymore because their home was invaded. But apparently to Max, all of this is just petty YouTube drama that people only care about because it gets them easy views? He straight up says that our priorities are skewed because of this. Yes, spreading awareness of pedophiles and human trafficking is important, I agree. But just because people are covering something else doesn't mean we are ignoring other problems. And... I don't know about you, but when it comes to human trafficking, I don't think making a YouTube video, whether you're a giant YouTuber or not, is really going to do anything substantial to stop it. You could spread a lot of awareness, of course, but it also depends on if anybody that views these videos is going to do anything about it. I don't think making several YouTube videos is enough to stop the problem. Oh, and back to Charlie real quick. I doubt that Charlie himself would want to speak out about human trafficking when he would most likely end up screaming into the void and making money off it. That would absolutely sting me if I was in Charlie's position. Also, another reason why Charlie couldn't speak out for Mama Max was because at the time of Max just spamming his DMs and making that video, Charlie had COVID, so that's also pretty important. Now, let's talk about Camden Gerard Davis, the supposed vampire sex cult leader that manipulated a bunch of children. So, there is a stream clip from a YouTuber named Lyrics, and I watched the entirety of it. Lyrics, if you're watching this somehow, you did amazing on that stream. You were brutally honest with Max, you were straightforward and concise, you gave a lot of perspective, and you raised a lot of good points against Max. If you want to watch Lyrics' stream clip, I'll link it in the description. So Lyrics came onto Max's stream and started asking him a lot of questions. So what do we get out of Mama Max? Well, for one, Mama Max for some reason felt the need to dox the relatives of Camden Gerard Davis. Like, I think it was a mother and a brother trying to get some information out of them. And uh, I don't think I even need to explain why doing that is a horrible idea. Especially when you have a large platform on YouTube and you actively encourage them to find out information about this individual, which then leads into you getting into contact with the relatives as if they are somehow involved. That's not really a good look. That's all I'm gonna say. You're basically inciting harassment on the relatives at that point. I mean, if I was the mother and I was receiving a lot of harassment because my son is allegedly a child predator, I would obviously get very fed up because it's not the fault of the relatives if someone in their family is doing some heinous shit. For all we know, they don't even know that their relative is doing anything at all, so why should the parents or the siblings get involved in the first place when what you're doing is not even a real investigation? Now, I said this before, but I'll say it again because it really is something damning against Mama Max. It was revealed on Lyrics' stream that Mama Max has no concrete evidence against Camden Gerard Davis in order to label him as a predator. Mudahar himself, one of the guys that Mama Max sent evidence to, has came out to Lyrics and said that nothing Max sent him was concrete. Because on stream, Mama Max told Lyrics that Mudahar has seen the evidence, and he told Lyrics to go ask Mudahar about it. And so when he does, he finds out from Mudahar himself that none of the evidence is concrete. And then later on, Mudahar himself comes onto Max's stream and pretty much says the same thing as Lyrics does, but Mama Max is biased towards Mudahar, most likely because he's the big YouTuber, but when Lyrix told Max the same thing, he gets kicked out of the call. Both Lyrix and Mudahar tell this guy that there is nothing concrete to support the fact that this guy is a predator and that he needs to prioritize that evidence. One of them is appreciated for their advice, the other gets shit on and kicked out of the call. 
I don't think I even need to explain how that's bullshit. Also, speaking of bullshit, not only did he kick out lyrics from the call, but right afterwards, Max threatens to strike his channel for harassment towards the victims when he didn't even do any of that. Yeah, uh, that message may seem very formulated and caring, but it's actually a veiled threat. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. You want to hear even more bullshit? Mama Max claimed that a person's full name does not fall under PII. Therefore, it is not doxing. I would like to speak directly to Max on this because it's actually astounding how retarded that claim was. Max, as a former big fan of your content and as a provider that helps mentally and physically disabled people, yes, full names fall under PII, you fucking idiot. I'm a provider. I have to acknowledge PII compliance and HIPAA all the fucking time. How can you sit there and claim that saying someone's full name that is not public information is not a form of doxing? Do you not understand the consequences that could happen when someone's previously unknown full name is revealed to the internet under this kind of controversy? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. Now, what really stings me about Mama Max is the fact that he admitted on stream that when it came to exposing predators for about five years at this point, he's never been in court and he comes off like he has little to no understanding of how the legal system works. How do you dedicate your entire YouTube channel to exposing predators for five years and not know the process of the legal system? How do you expose predators for five years as well as calling certain people pedophiles left and right and have not gone to court. Have you convicted anybody? Have you actually put any predators behind bars? Have you ever worked with the police in regards to these predators? Uh, are these just stories that you made up? Did you see any arrests go through? Or was, or was all of this just for views? Because let me tell you right now, it's starting to look like you only do this for views. What really set me off and sort of backed up my suspicion that you do this just for views was when you said that all of your videos are part of this Mama Max universe. Like, what the fuck? Is this all just fictional? Are you not an actual predator hunter? Have you not encountered a single pedophile on the internet or anywhere? Was this all just a work of fiction? Wow. <laughs> I am glad to not have donated to your Patreon. You said that the Patreon money was for going to court for all the survivors. Now I'm starting to doubt that. It's actually disheartening that I have to say any of this because I thought Max would be better than this, but now I'm actually questioning the credibility of anything that Mama Max has done. Hell, I'm not even the only one that's questioning if he was wrong about Magnetar being a pedophile. See, I loved Mama Max's response to his ex-girlfriends and Magnetar, but looking back on it now, Mama Max is basically doing the same thing that Magnetar did with his video exposing Max as an abuser. He is gathering up a bunch of people to testify for him about this one person that allegedly did horrific acts against children, just like how Magnetar gathered up Mama Max's exes to testify on how he's an abuser. And if you don't recall, Mama Max ended off his video showing a conversation he had with a minor that Magnetar allegedly sent a dick pic to her and outright says that Magnetar's a pedophile. He also says that this is the only evidence he has against Magnetar, which is unsubstantial because really all it is is hearsay. For all we know, the dick pic that this person got could have been just some random dick pic on the internet. But the fact that Mama Max takes this as his smoking gun to call Magnetar a pedophile, I have to say, I am incredibly disappointed. Not only is this hypocritical of you to be doing the same thing that your exes have done against this one guy based on evidence that isn't even concrete, but it also puts your credibility on the line. I'm actually distraught that I've idolized Mama Max for so long, only to find out that he's not the person I thought he was. It's actually baffling to me that I've managed to expose actual child predators better than Mama Max has. Max, I am hoping that at some point you prove me wrong, because in all honesty, I want a really good reason to just take this video down. I really want to keep believing in your cause, but as of right now, I am extremely disappointed in you. Please do better. <sighs> Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe because I need clout.